This is such a creative, special place. It's a, like a gift to the energy industry. We have 25 buildings spread over 16 acres, and the demand for electricity coming out of these buildings is highly different and depends on what's going on. So what are the resources in the network? Well, photovoltaic panels, batteries, a bunch of them. And we quickly found that hydrogen was going to be an important consideration if we could produce it from rainwater, and we found a way to do that. What Stone Edge Farm offered us was a living laboratory. Feeding directly into the trunk line at 480 and so The testing that we can do at Stone Edge Farm it moves us along so much faster than working with a traditional grid. He said from the beginning, this is an open IP project, meaning that if you invent something, you keep it and you can do whatever you want with it. Just make sure uh, you can change the world. If we can see that it works here in a controlled setting, that will absolutely position us to help uh, in other places where there is no infrastructure. What they are doing in there is kind of a proof of concept of how things could be done in, in other countries. In the same way that Africa sort of bypass landlines with phones and they went directly to cell phones, maybe they don't need to go through distribution of electricity in the way that we have done here, they could go directly to a highly distributed systems like microgrids. For Mac, it's, it's one of the mandates behind Stone Edge Farm, and that is to really create a model that's cost effective and dynamic enough to meet the needs for microgrids all over the world. We've had, I think it's 68 different interns from 15 different universities across the U.S. Uh, that have been studying various topics. They, they come and have an internship for either three or six months, and, and they get their fingernails dirty working on actually getting things done and learning how the technologies work. That is actually a living, breathing example of the pop movement. This is exactly it. This is what it's all about. This is probably the most rich learning environment that they could get, especially as young interns, because it changes your life forever. The rest is history. You, you, you go there, you spend six months of your life, and then everything changes. Changes the course of history if you're able to mobilize enough people to, to, to be inspired in the way that these young interns are being inspired. The crucial thing when, when push comes to shove is the young people. And the idea that, that the pop movement has extended to 1.8 billion people, uh, young people around the planet, is entirely indicative of where we have to go.